Hey guys, my name is William and in today's video we're going to show you how to write local SEO pages that rank in Google. That's right. How to write local SEO pages that rank in Google. So hey, my name's William. If you haven't met me yet, um, I am a local Google My Business expert. I have 20 years of experience. And what we're going to talk about today is how to write local SEO pages that rank in Google. The number one ranking factor outside of, if you will, structure of a website, number two would be content. I'm very big on content, the type of content that's produced, etc. So we're going to dive right in and we're going to show you what we do and how we do it for all of our clients and how do we write specifically local or geo pages for our clients so that they will rank. Okay, let's say you are a metal roofing repair dude, right? Metal roof repair. So I tend to stay away from tools because I personally believe and I know for a fact that Google gives you pretty much everything that you need as an SEO to rank your own assets or websites or clients, one of which is Google Search, Google Search Console, etc. So what we're going to do is just show you today, for example, I'm going to write about metal roof repair. Metal roof repair. And I went to Google and I said, Google, what are people looking for to write me write about, right? And most people, I absolutely say this over and over and over again, most people, right? They totally forget about this little section here that Google shows you that's saying Google is going, hey, people are also looking for this. They're also asking about this, right? Then if you go down here even further, you also have this little section, which everybody forgets about for some damn reason, right? You don't need, for the most part, all these fancy dancy little tools. If I click on any of these areas, it's going to keep going down and down and down, and it will even show me videos of what people are looking for. I will sit here and I will use all of this information, literally, to write content. My number one tool I love for content now that we don't have to quote unquote necessarily come up with ideas of everything. We have the ideas. We have the outline, if you will. Where do we do next? What do we do next? So I'm going to show you that. You know, we're going to go into that as well. So let's go ahead and go back in here. And we're going to go over to our handy dandy little friend named, guess who? Jarvis. We're going to log into Jarvis, and I'm going to show you my exact SOP. If you want my standard operating procedure, make sure to comment below, and I will give you my standard operating procedure of how I write content for local businesses that rank. Most people write content, but it doesn't always rank, but this is a surefire way of making sure it ranks. I generally want about 1,500 words of content on every single page. There are pages where I have five to 10,000 words of content, okay? We're going to take this. Let's say we're going to write about mm, metal roof repair. We come over here. We want an idea, if you will. What's a blog post topic idea? So I go over to my template over here, you know, product description. Oh, let's grab something from here. What's... Can a metal roof re be repaired? I don't know. You know, like all metal, metal roof from college maintenance and repair. Well, let's grab that, drop that in here. The audience is in, let's say, Orlando, Florida. I'm just giving you an example. I want it to be professional, you know, and we hit generate AI content. It's going to give me some blog post topic ideas. That is step one, blog post topic ideas like this one. Three ways to extend the life of your metal roof. This sounds good to me. So let's go back in here. That is going to be my topic, if you will. Now, let's go back over to my templates. And we can go over here for a blog post outline. In other words, a post outline. The next thing as well that I do in my stop is I go to, let's do an intro paragraph. 
What about this company? What's the name of the title? It's going to be about this. Audience is homeowners. And we hit generate content. So now I'm going to do an introduction paragraph. I'm going to let Jarvis make it for me. This is one way I do it. And then after we do this, we also have our content writers go back through it. So we grab this. This is our intro paragraph. All right, that's our introduction. Looks really good, doesn't it? Now we go back to our Jarvis and we go back to templates. And we go to blog post outline. Well, what do I want it to be about? My blog post outline is going to be about three ways to extend the life of your roof. And I hit generate content and it's going to give me blog post outline. That outline is essentially what's going to help me make my content up. So, for example, I may just take these three, right? May just take these three. But there are other things we can do. I just want to show you everything. So we got these three and we can then go into Jarvis and write content based upon these three topics. Another thing we can do, which is what I like to do, is we can go in here and go, OK, how much does it cost to repair a metal roof? Now I go into Jarvis and I could do several things. There are many things we could do with this. So you go into templates. We can go on to Quora. We can answer, do a Quora answer. We take this and go Quora answers. Let's put in the topic. You know, where's the information to include in the answer? Roof repair. I mean, or your city or your state or whatever you want to put in there, right? And it's going to generate an answer based off of those questions that Google is already telling you people are asking about. Right, Google saying, hey, people are asking about this. You grab that. That's your question. This is your answer. You know, and now I have that content. And I do the same thing with the next question that Google is saying people are asking. I take that question and I put it over here. And then I go back into my Jarvis and I let Jarvis write, write, write for me. I mean, I just let Jarvis do the heavy lifting, if you will. We can go generate content. We're taking literally the questions that Google is saying people are asking, right? We're taking those questions that Google says people are asking and letting Jarvis write answers for it. If I write, take 10 questions, I will have 1,500 words of content within less than 15 minutes. So once again, my name is William, and this is how we write content that actually ranks in Google's local search algorithm for your business. You know, there is no such thing, in my opinion, from what I've seen as a Google sandbox, especially when you have your structure right and your content on point, and this is how we do it. If you want my standard operating procedure on writing content for your local business, make sure to comment below and I will get that over to you today. I appreciate you guys. And once again, if you don't have Jarvis, you can get that as well. Um, I am an affiliate, but I'm not putting my affiliate link in there. If you want that, just message me and I'll get that over to you as well. But specifically, if you want my standard operating procedure on writing content that ranks, then make sure to comment below and we'll get that over to you. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe as well because we put these out at least two times a day, seven days a week. Be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil, shout fuck the SEO.